Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, find the coordinates of the point equidistant from the three points A51, B-3-7 and C7-1. So we have to find the coordinates of the point which is equidistant from these three given points. So let's now move on to the solution and let PXY be the point equidistant from the points A51, B-3, minus 3-7 minus and C7-1. Minus Now since this point PXY is equidistant from these three given points, we have PA is equal to PB is equal to PC. That is distance between P and A is equal to distance between P and B is equal to distance between P and C. And this is according to question. So we have to find the distance between P and A and the distance formula for the points Q1, X1, Y1 and Q2, X2, Y2 is given by under the root X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. Now we find distance between P and A. This is Q1, Q2. So, distance between P and A is given by 5 minus X whole square, that is X2 minus X1 whole square. Here, X2 is 5, Y2 is 1, and X1 is X, and Y1 is Y. So, this becomes 5 minus X whole square, plus 1 minus Y whole square, Similarly, we find distance between P and B. So, this is given by minus 3 minus X whole square plus minus 7 minus Y whole square. Similarly, PC is given by the formula 7 minus X whole square plus minus 1 minus Y whole square. Let's name this as 1. This as 2 and this as 3. Now, from the question we have PA is equal to PB is equal to PC. So, from 1 and 3, we have PA is equal to PC. That means, under the root 5 minus X whole square plus 1 minus Y whole square is equal to under the root 7 minus x whole square plus minus 1 minus y whole square can be written as 1 plus y whole square because if we take minus 1 common and since here we have square so minus 1 square becomes plus 1. Now squaring both sides we have 5 minus x whole square is plus 1 minus y whole square is equal to 7 minus x whole square plus 1 plus y whole square. Now apply the formula of a minus b whole square. So we have 25 plus x square minus 10x. a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab. So this becomes minus 10x plus 1 plus y square. Minus 2y is equal to 49 plus x square minus 14x plus 1 plus y square plus 2y. Here we have applied the formula of a plus b whole square. Now we see that x square gets cancelled with x square. y square gets cancelled with y square. 1 gets cancelled with 1. And we have 25 minus 10x minus 2y minus 49 plus 14x 
minus 2y is equal to 0. Now, 25 minus 49 is minus 24. Minus 10x plus 14x is plus 4x. Minus 2y minus 2y is minus 4y is equal to 0. So, this implies 4x minus 4y is equal to 24. So, this implies x minus y is equal to 6 taking 4 common. Now, again from 2 and 3 we have PB is equal to PC. So, we have PB is equal to PC. PB is minus 3 minus x whole square plus minus 7 minus y whole square. is equal to PC which is under the root 7 minus x whole square plus 1 plus y whole square again squaring both sides we have minus 3 minus x whole square plus minus 7 minus y whole square is equal to 7 minus x whole square plus 1 plus y whole square now again taking minus 1 common from this we have 3 plus x whole square and again we are taking minus 1 common but since here we have square so this becomes 7 plus y whole square is equal to 7 minus x whole square plus 1 plus y whole square. Now we apply the formula of a plus b whole square so this becomes 9 plus x square plus 6x plus 49 plus y square plus 14y is equal to 49 plus x square minus 14x plus 1 plus y y square plus 2y. Now we see that y square gets cancelled with y square. 49 gets cancelled with 49. x square gets cancelled with x square. And we have 9 plus 6x. Nine plus six x plus fourteen y plus fourteen x minus one minus two y is equal to zero. Again, this implies six x plus fourteen x is twenty x plus fourteen y. It should be 12y. 14y minus 2y is 12y. 9 minus 1 is 8. Is equal to 0. So, taking 4 common we have 5x plus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. And this implies 5x plus 3y is equal to minus 2. Let's name this as A. And this as B. Now, equation A is x minus y is equal to 6. And B is 5x plus 3y is equal to minus 2. Now we will solve this equation for x and y by equating the coefficient of x or y. So here we will equate the coefficient of y and we will multiply equation a by 3. So we have 3x minus 3y is equal to 18 and we will add equation a and b. 5x plus 3y is equal to minus 2. Adding the two equations. Since we are adding, sign will not change. 3x plus 5x is 8x. Minus 3y gets cancelled with plus 3y. 18 minus 2 is 16. So this implies x is equal to 
16 upon 8, that is 2. Now, from equation A, we have x minus y is equal to 6. Now, x is 2. Minus y is equal to 6. So, we have y is equal to 2 minus 6 and this implies y is equal to minus 4. So x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 4 are the coordinates of the point P, X, Y where x is 2 and y is minus 4. Thus, hence, the required point is which is equidistant from the three given points is 2 minus 4. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.